So we're caught up in drama Everybody's talking, everybody's talking We're caught up in problem Everybody's talking, everybody's talking Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris. Hope everybody's doing alright this Saturday. I've got a video that I'm going to do for you guys today, and this is kind of how to update a build once you've already downloaded it and a new version comes along. All right, so today we're going to actually use one of my favorites. It's the Xenon build. As you can see right now, it is X7.2 build. All right, so if you haven't watched my video review on the Xenon, uh, take a look at the the uh, review that I did just a few videos ago and you can actually look at the video in depth but this is going to be kind of a short video because I wanted you guys to see how you actually update the version all right now there are several ways that you can do it um, one particular way is if you have Facebook a lot of the developers have Facebook groups that you can become a part of and if you follow along with them and do notifications and so on and so forth, uh, you're going to get information updates on the build itself. All right, so this is definitely a way that you can tell that it's been updated. And then I'm going to go in here in just a second. I'm going to show you guys how to actually go ahead and update the build because it doesn't do it on its own. If you have 7.1, let's say, and a new version comes along, it's just not going to automatically update like the add-ons. So your add-ons, and people have asked me this as well, your add-ons will automatically update as long as you're logged in to the system, okay? So they're going to constantly be in the background updating, and that's what the developers have done. Now, when they come out with a new version, those are tweaks and fixes to problems that have happened in the older build, all right? So you definitely want to keep up to date with the newest version as possible. All right, so like I said, this is Xenon X 7.2. All right, so I'm going to show you guys here in just a second, but real quick, uh, as always, I want to give a quick shout out to all you guys that are subscribing. Thank you guys so much. Keep it up. If you haven't clicked on that bell, make sure you click on the bell uh, for notifications uh, of new videos of mine, okay? And if this is your first time watching, definitely click on the link below and hit subscribe. I've got a lot of great content, do a lot of thorough build reviews, a lot of how-tos, even I do streaming box reviews as well. We just did one on the Lil Box Q2. So keep that in mind. I've got a contest coming up here in the next week or so. And in order to be a part of that and enter into the contest, you have to be a subscriber. And you're going to have to watch the videos, guys. I'm just telling you that right up, uh, right off the bat. Uh, and you're going to have to watch them from start to finish because I'm going to throw little hints in there. Uh, to make sure that you all are watching the videos, okay? So we're going to make it a little bit fun, but it's going to be worth it. The giveaway is going to be a great giveaway, and I'll take care of all the shipping costs. Uh, but anyway, nonetheless, make sure you're watching. Make sure you have the notifications turned on or click that bell for the notifications. All right, and again, thank you guys for subscribing, leaving comments. Uh, you know, I, I know it's tough for me to get back with all you guys on the comments so if you guys are leaving comments, I do apologize if I can't get back with you right away. Uh, but I truly, truly will try. It's just that we're the channel's growing and growing, and it's getting more and more difficult, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Thank you again, guys, for watching. So like I said, uh, the first way is if you have a Facebook group and uh, the developers have created that Facebook group, like, um, say, Misfit Mods, I've heard that they have a Facebook group. And uh, if you go in, you can talk to the developers, get to know them. Uh, they're pretty good about, <clears throat> you know, giving you information if you have questions or so on and so forth. Uh, and they're good at communicating with you guys, okay? But they will let you know if there is a new version that comes up with any of their builds. Same thing for any other developers. Find out, first of all, if there is actually a Facebook group or a group. It doesn't necessarily have to be Facebook. Maybe it's through a website or whatever where you can keep updated, all right? The other way is you can always go in from your main menu and you go into the wizard. So like for instance, this is the Diggs Fire Build Wizard. So you can scroll down and go to Diggs. Now, as you can see, let's go back up, it's 7.2. Go down, you can click on their wizard and it's gonna pull up their menu. You just go into builds. 
okay and as you can see if this is any different than what you have that means you're going to have to update now i know it's very simple uh you know it's an easy concept but it would take you like two seconds to actually look so always check the wizards just to make sure if there's not an update because once they do an update it's usually to fix problems that uh, like i said arise from the previous build or if there's add-on issues or something like that or if like just recently covenant came into play so if there's new add-ons they like to try to update with the newest add-ons to make sure that you know you guys are completely covered especially like for instance with exodus being ready to um, be ousted so to speak and covenant taking over uh, that's going to be one of those things that you kind of want to make sure the updates are there okay so you can go in that way we're going to backspace out of this okay <clears throat> and if your build is part of a wizard all you have to do is go into the Ares wizard all right so if you don't all builds will have their own wizard so that that would be the first place that i would check all right if you can't find their wizard, then obviously you find the Ares wizard, and you can always go into the add-ons and program add-ons. <clears throat> and if they are a part of Ares wizard, you can do that as well. But once you click on Ares wizard, it'll take a little bit of time to pull up. But it'll pull up like this. And then you just go into Browse Builds. You're going to go down to, in this case, Digs Fire Builds. Okay, and then you're going to scroll down, and as you can see, when you highlight whatever build you're looking at, <clears throat> it says X 7.2.1, so it matches the version that you're looking at right now. So if this says X 7.3 or 7.4 or whatever, then you would definitely want to go ahead and update the build, all right, because then that way you're going to have the best possible working build, updated build that you can, okay, because they're always looking at these builds and they're always updating these builds and they're trying to make it work as fluently as they can and jason diggs does an awesome job of that he really keeps everything up to date and it takes a little bit longer time for him to come up with builds because he is so thorough in what he does so thank jason if you get in touch with him all right so all you have to do if you want the updated version now i'm not going to do it on this but you just have to click enter and then you can install it or you can do a fresh start. I always rest, recommend doing a fresh start. Okay, and then it says this will remove all add-ons, etc. from Cody. Are you sure? Uh, I'm going to hit no, but you would hit yes. That's going to completely delete everything that is out on that build. All right, it does keep the Aries Wizard though. So when you go back into Cody, you don't have to go through the source of adding the wizard again and so on and so forth. All you have to do is go back into the wizard, go back into browse builds like we're here, go down to whatever build you want, click enter, and then it's going to do the install for you. And so that from here, all you have to do is hit install. All right. So we're going to go back out to the main menu of the uh, Xenon. All right. So that's the two ways that you can actually update. So it's very simple. Like I said, you check your menu item. All right, which is Xenon 7.2. You go down to your Digs Fire Build Wizard, go into Builds, and then it's simple. It's just like that. And then all you have to do is click Enter. Okay, and you want to do a fresh install. All right, that's going to wipe the old build out and put the current one on there. Okay, guys? So it's very simple, very easy to do but it also keeps everything updated and running freshly, okay? Sometimes uh, older builds run a little bit slower. Uh, I would definitely recommend clearing your cache. You can do auto clean. So get familiarized with a lot of the maintenancing uh, of builds, all right? So when you download a build, make sure you're going in and checking these out because you can do auto clean and that'll actually wipe some things out. Uh, you can uh, do force update add-ons. So if you don't think that your add-ons, uh, like say Covenant or Elysium or Specto or any of those are actually updating, you can actually do a force update add-on. Okay, you can actually go in to the main menu of Xenon. Okay, and you can actually go into skin settings, and then you can do like 
add-on shortcuts. So let's say uh, under the movies, you didn't want Duckpool there or Covenant or Movie Portal. You, all you have to do is click enter on one of those that you want to change, go into video add-ons, and then find something that you want to add in its place. So we'll find something we want to add in its place. So we're just going to do show box uh, Aries here. Okay, so we'll just click enter. And it's already there for you. Go ahead and click enter. And there you go, guys. You've got that add-on there. Now if we go back and we go to the movie section and there it is right there so it's very simple you can navigate through these uh, like I said now I've uh, didn't realize showbox Aries was already there or Rees or however you pronounce it um, but you can change that back so we'll go back uh, we'll, sh we'll change it back to Duckpool alright just to show you once again how to do it so you go to skin settings, you go to your add-on, click on the add-on that you want to change, click enter, go to video add-ons, okay, and then we're going to scroll down to duck pool. So this is a great way of pulling up the add-ons that you want in your main menu section there a lot quicker. You don't have to do searches for them or anything else. So just hit enter. Once we select it, it's already got it typed out for us. Just hit enter. And there's Duckpool. If we go back to main menu, and we go to movies, there's Duckpool. So see, it's that simple, guys. Don't be afraid of the builds. These builds, you can make them your own, okay? This is a great build. I love this build. You've got widgets that you can pull up that way. You can also go into movies. And Jason Diggs does a great job of having the best add ons there is. There's Movie Dude. There's 90s hits, 80s hits, 2000s hits. I mean, just a lot. Movies A to Z. A lot of great options there, guys. I mean, look how many there are. You know, the art. Uh, that is in the background is amazing. The fan art, uh, there's TV shows. You got uh, all kinds of different sub menus here. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all these because uh, I've already done a review on this build. It's just this is the updated version. You've got TV networks. You know, it's all right here in these sub menus and sub sub menus with the widgets. You've got your live TV. You've got sports. You've got all in one. I mean, this build just has it all. It's my probably my top three favorites, and I keep this build all the time on one of my forks. Now, if you guys have not seen how to add a fork, uh, I definitely recommend that. Check my video out. I've got a link for that if you need it, um, but it will show you guys how to download a fork to where you can have more than one build on the fork. If you go into Supreme Builds, uh, which I'll show you in my main uh main screen here you can actually have up to as many forks as they have builds which is pretty cool I think it's like five or six all right and then there's power always exit the first time that you exit always exit via the power button okay save and exit that way anything that you've made changes on uh, in the initial setup of the build it will automatically save all right so there's all kinds of great things here there's movies uh, genres, theaters now, 3D, 4K, top rated movies. I mean, Jason Diggs just does a wonderful job of just literally having the best of the best. All right. You can also go down and the very far left corner there in the bottom, you'll see the star there. You can favorite any of these. Okay. So keep in mind, everything flows fluently with his builds. We've just recently added uh, the portals. 
So, you know, you got the movie database here you can add to your library, which is really, really awesome. That's your TV shows that you can add. There's your movies, your TV shows, your music library. You say you want to add a movie to the library, just go and click enter. All right, we can add from any of these add-ons. So if we click on Covenant, Okay, let's go and uh, add from the portal here and see if that one works because Covenant didn't pull up here. There you go. And that brings up the movie database. All right, so all we have to do to add to this, let's say we want to add Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Well, let's go War for the Planet of the Apes. All you have to do is long press the select button. Brings up the choose option menu. You can actually view the trailer here, rate the movie if you want. You can add it to your favorites if you don't want to add it to library. You also add to list. But we're going to add to library. Okay, and it says uh, at the top there that it's been added. All right, we're going to go out. Now, keep in mind that was a movie. So it's not going to show here because that your library brings up the widgets for your TV shows. All right, so we're going to scroll over. And we're going to go to power, and there's War for the Planet of the Apes. All right, so that's how you actually add. So I would definitely recommend this build for anybody. I mean, it's a little larger build. Uh, if you have a Fire Stick like I did in the past, it's going to be a little slow. It's going to buffer at times. So, I mean, that's going to be your choice whether you want to actually download this one or not. I mean, it, it worked fairly well for my Fire Stick because I had really good Internet. So if you have good Internet to compensate for that, then it'll it'll make it a little bit better. Um, but if you have slower internet, then this is not going to be the build for you guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. All right. But it has so many different sub menus and the menus are perfect. You know, Jason Diggs, like I said, does an awesome job of really making great builds. And when he does a build, it takes him a while to actually do the build because he wants to make sure that it's, you know, perfectly uh, great for you guys. All right. So hopefully that helps. Uh, like I said, I've had a lot of questions on how to actually update the build. And that's something that, you know, you're going to have to check every so often. Uh, we do a good job as YouTubers trying to uh, give you guys updated information. Uh, so that's the third option as well. So if you guys are watching our videos, you know, once we come in contact with these builds and their updates, um, we're going to actually put them out there for you guys as much as we can, okay? So just keep that in mind. That is your third option. But thank you again for watching. Uh, you guys have a great Saturday. Enjoy the weather. I believe it's beautiful out there. Uh, and if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to get in touch with me. You have two ways. You can leave me a comment in the general comment box, or you have my email address always down at the bottom of the description box, okay? But thank you guys again for watching, and if you guys have not subscribed, please click on the link below. Hit subscribe. You won't be disappointed. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you all.